Hello, I'm Brady Newhart. This is my husband, Miles. We are from Redfield, South Dakota, where Christina talked about me a little bit ago. <laughs> I am a double diamond, and my story is a little different. I started the company, um, will be three years next month. And the reason I started, I was getting ready for my wedding. One of my girlfriends from beauty school was talking about people losing inches. They could talk about that back then. I don't know now. And I messaged her on Facebook, and I just wanted to try it. So I sent her the money. She mailed it to me. I tried it, and she's like, oh, you should join the company. I was like, no. But I'm pretty spontaneous. It only took her like a week to tell me, and I joined them. And um, had a launch party, had nine people there, got a few loyal customers. When I started, in my mentality, I was like, I don't want anyone on, I don't want anyone else around here to be selling this. I want everybody to come to me. I didn't want no team members, I didn't want none of that. So that was, in my mind, I just wanted cash. So the next month after that, this is when we had the graph shortage, by the way. <laughs> um, I did a really big party with 15 people there, so I made a lot of graph cash then. And that was when the graph shortage was. So people were mad, they quit their loyals right away. And I was like, ah, all right, forget it. So all my stuff was coming, I kept that auto shipment going for like eight months and everything went into a box. I didn't even <laughs> use any of it. So um, I was ready to quit and I did not even know I was on Crystal Pearl's team. She was starting this task force, which was, I started in April, this was January, she was starting a task force. So I messaged her and I said, hey, I don't even know if I'm on your team, but can I do your task force? Because I want to see if I can really make some money, otherwise I'm going to quit. <laughs> so turns out I was nine levels below her and I was on her team and I started this task force. So started going to the task force, started getting some little customers, started doing some parties, and by May, so this is like a year in now, I still had, I had some little customers going, and I hated my job. And my husband told me just to quit it. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm pretty spontaneous, I don't care, I'm just gonna do it. Quit my job, I was only making two or three hundred dollars with this, and it was nowhere near what I needed to be making with this. I needed 26 more loyal customers to get my $600 car bonus, and I went and did it in June, and I got that bonus. And I still had never met Crystal in person. She told me I should go to St. Louis boot camp. We went in July. I had no distributors then. Came out of that, a month later I went Ruby. <laughs> so get to an event, they're crazy. So went Ruby, went to a conference, told me I needed to go to a conference in January. Went from Ruby to Double, and the rest is history. Here we are. <laughs> so my side of the story. Other <laughs> side, might I add. So while this is going on, I still remember that first rap party. She said all these people were coming over to the house, and they were going to do whatever. I'm like, all right, I'll take the kids outside, and I'll stay out of the way. And that's pretty much what I did. I was out working on the landscaping at, on our house, and like all these people were coming around. I'm like... You know, yeah, there's quite a few people or whatever, and it was getting late at night, and I'm like, you need to get these people out of here. we got to get the kids to bed, so I don't know. I don't know how she did it, but she did a great job with that first rap party, and, you know, I was working a job where I told her to quit, where it was 12-hour shifts. It was a rotating shift, shift work, and uh, I didn't really like it, and it was, it's hard. I, it was hard on my body, and I just told her, you know what, quit, and just do what you can, like, do whatever, and... Thank God she did what she did because now I work in a lab and I, I don't know, it's the easiest thing that I've ever done. Yeah, it's the easiest thing that I've ever done and it's great and I took a pay cut to do it because of, you know, the supplemental that she's making and, you know, you guys you do what you can. Talking about getting to events, when we went to conference, I, you know, we really didn't have money to go. We didn't really have money to go in July, but we made it work and, uh, Took out a, I took out a loan on my 401k so that we could go to that conference and boy was it worth it because then you know we came out of that conference and she went double diamond and here we are today. That's when they had the bonuses. I went diamond, 10,000, double diamond, 15,000, diamond, 10,000 for him the next month after that. Just took off of it. But, uh, another thing too that, that was just you know Person to person, husband and wife, we always we butt heads quite often. But the one thing that this business did for her is it changed her mentality. 
she used to be, she hated this job, and she was a really negative person, kind of, you know, a gossiper, and would take stuff and run with it, and thanks to this business, you know, she's, <laughs> she, uh, she, takes, she takes all the positive stuff that she can, and just builds momentum on top of that, and, uh, Pam, where you at? <laughs> she's our next speaker. She's going to be the one telling you guys about keeping positivity in your business. Woo! Yeah, exactly.